Miss Appleton? Yes. Thank you for meeting me. Uh, no problem. Can you tell us what happened? Uh, start from the beginning. It all started uh, four months ago. I had come home from work one day and was looking through my mail, but one of them stood out. At first, I thought it was a joke. I had recently begun my job at the Historical Preservation Society, and they liked to play pranks on the new people. But the letters kept coming, each one more disturbing than the last. I always felt like I was being watched. Why didn't you report it? I didn't feel like I had enough evidence. Did you talk to your coworkers? I didn't want them involved. Why did you keep it to yourself? It's my first time being stalked, okay? I'm not a professional at it. Anyways, the paranoia ramped up a few days ago, and then I got a letter that was much worse than the rest. The 13th was the day I was giving a tour of an old Civil War battle site. I was a little scared going, and thinking that the stalker might be there, but I try not to let it distract me. Uh, welcome to the historical site where the Union and Confederation uh, clashed over Fort Pillow. Over here is where the uh, six Union sh so soldiers were shot by one cannon. Are you sure it was just six? I thought it was seven. I'm pretty sure it was six. Let's keep going. Man, this tour's to die for. What? I mean, I just really like this tour. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go for a lunch break. This is where you can have your lunch break. Uh, I'm gonna go for a walk. And that's when I shot him. You shot him? Yeah. Look, I felt threatened, okay? Did you tell anyone? I didn't want to cause a panic. Uh, I had to finish the tour. So, uh, I dealt with it later. You were almost murdered. You killed the man in self-defense. You left his body in the woods, and then you completed your tour. What is the state of your mental health? It's my day job. I gotta pay the bill somehow. Yeah, that's, uh, uh, what happened next. Oh my god, what was that? Th that was a memorial drummer for all the drummers in the, in the army. Oh, alrighty then. That's when I shot him, too. <laughs> Didn't you think you'd already killed the killer? Well, I didn't know. Maybe they were working in a group or something. It, you know it takes a long time to write one of those serial killer letters. Yeah, yeah, cannon blast. Oh. Guys, it was just a cannon. Don't freak out, it was a cannon. <laughs> Is that when you shot one of them? No. I wanted to make sure I was going to shoot the instigator. You know you shouldn't kill someone for defending themselves.
but they saw me with the gun and got aggressive. Of course they were getting aggressive. You were pointing a gun at them. What happened then? I had to defend myself. And? And then I shot them. <laughs> you shot both of them? Yeah. Wow. No. Um, well, we've got some good news for you. The first guy you shot turned out he was the stalker. But it's a different story with the other three guys. It's still good news, though. So it seems like he had a streak of good luck. The second guy, uh, he turned out to be a murderer on the run. Uh, good job on that one. The third and fourth guys were serial arsonists. And they also ran a scam ring of fake dojos. So what happens now? Well, this is not how things are usually done, but seeing that you single-handedly dispatched the county's most dangerous criminal ring in one day and did it all under the ill name of self-defense, I guess there's no really justifiable legal action to take. So you'll be entered into the witness protection program, of course, but we'll give you that information later. And uh, for now, it looks like you will be uh, awarded a Congressional Medal of Honor shortly. Have a nice day.